আসসালামু আলাইকুম আই এম ডক্টর মৌসুমি তাহের আশা অ্যাসোসিয়েট প্রফেসর ডিপার্টমেন্ট অফ অ্যানাটমি বসুন্ধরা আদ্দিন মেডিকেল কলেজ স্টুডেন্টস ইন লাস্ট টু ক্লাস আই হ্যাভ অলরেডি ডিসকাস অ্যাবাউট দ্য ক্রেনিয়াল নার্ভস আপ টু দ্য নাইন্থ ক্রেনিয়াল নার্ভস টুডে আই এম গোয়িং টু ডিসকাস টেন্থ ইলেভেন অ্যান্ড টুয়েলভ ক্রেনিয়াল নার্ভস লেট স্টার্ট দ্য টেন্থ ক্রেনিয়াল নার্ভ ইজ নেম অ্যাজ দ্য ভেগাস নার্ভ The vagus nerve is the motor and the sensory nerve. That, that means it is the mixed nerve. The vagus nerve nuclei has motor nucleus. That is the nucleus ambiguous. Parasympathetic nucleus the known as dorsal nucleus of the vagus. And the sensory nucleus is the nucleus of tractus solitarius. The functional component. The motor component is the general visceral efferent fiber. the heart and great thoracic blood vessels larynx trachea bronchi and the lungs elementary tract from pharynx to splenic flexure of the colon liver kidney and the pancreas special visceral efferent fiber muscles of the pharynx and the larynx and the sensory component is the general visceral efferent fiber heart and great vessels larynx trachea bronchi and the lung elementary tract from the pharynx to splenic flexure of the colon liver kidney and the pancreas special visceral efferent fiber that is the taste sensation from the most posterior part of the tongue and the epiglottis and general somatic efferent sensation from the skins of the external ear if there is a lesion of the vagus nerve there is a loss of gag reflex unilateral loss of the cough reflex due to anesthesia of the pharynx and the larynx harshness of the voice due to unilateral paralysis of the laryngeal muscle and unilateral paralysis of the soft palate leading to sagging of the palatal arch the uvula deviated towards the opposite healthy sides 11 cranial nerve is the accessory nerve the accessory nerve is the motor nerve that is formed by the union of the cranial root and the spinal root the accessory nerve nuclei The cranial root is formed from the axon of the nerve cells of the nucleus ambiguous and the spinal root is formed from the axons of the nerve cells in the spinal nucleus which is situated in the anterior gray column of the spinal cord in the upper five cervical segment this information is very very important how cranial root and how spinal root of the accessory nerve is formed this is the figure showing the cranial and spinal nucleus of accessory nerve and their central connection the functional component of the cranial nerve uh, accessory cranial nerve is the cranial root is the motor special visceral efferent that is the muscles of the soft palate except tensor veli palatini pharynx except stylopharyngeus larynx except precothyroid in the branches of the vagus and a spinal root of the cranial nerve functional component is the special visceral efferent which is supplied the only two muscle sternocleidomastoid and the trapezius muscle this passes through the jugular foramen this picture showing the cranial root of the accessory nerve and here is the spinal root of the accessory nerve here we see the segment of the cervical 1 2 3 4 5 and it supply the sternocleidomastoid and the nerves to the trapezius muscle and cranial root uh, by through the branches of the vagus it supplies the soft palate muscle larynx muscle and there is some exception accessory nerve lesion unilateral lesion of the spinal root leads to paralysis of the sternocleidomastoid and the trapezius muscle the paralysis of the sternocleidomastoid will result in turning of the face towards the same side and bending of the head towards the opposite side due to unopposed action of opposite healthy muscle the paralysis of the trapezius results in drooping of the shoulder and inability to shrug the shoulder towards the sides of the injury the last but not the least cranial nerve is the hypoglossal nerve that is the 12th cranial nerve the hypoglossal nerve is the motor nerve the functional component is the general somatic efferent it supplies the muscles of the tongue except palatoglossus we already know that all of the muscles of the tongue supplied by the hypoglossal nerve except palatoglossus which is supplied by the cranial part of the accessory nerve 
it passes through the hypoglossal canal. The hypoglossal nucleus, the hypoglossal nucleus is situated close in the midline immediately beneath the floor of the lower part of the fourth ventricle. It receives corticonuclear fiber from the both cerebral hemisphere. The cells responsible for supplying the genioglossus muscle only receive corticonuclear fiber from the opposite cerebral hemisphere. This picture showing the hypoglossal nucleus and the hypoglossal nerve. When there is the lesions of the hypoglossal nerve, there is upper motor neuron lesions of the hypoglossal nerve. Since the hypoglossal nucleus receives corticonuclear fiber only from the contralateral hemisphere, the unilateral motor lesion causes weakness of the opposite half of the tongue and on protrusion the tongue deviates to that of the lesion. And the lower motor neuron lesion that is the nuclear and the infanuclear lesions of the hypoglossal nerve results in paralysis of the ipsilateral half of the tongue and protrusion the tongue deviates towards the side of the lesion due to unopposed action of genioglossus of the healthy side. The tongue will be smaller atrophied and fasciculation occur within the tongue. Thank you students this all for today and these all about the whole of the cranial nerve and later we will discuss about the pathways of the visual reflex and other reflexes. Thank you very much.